Welcome back to my channel everyone. My name's Brooke and I'm your host here at Hooked on Brooke. Now most of you may not know but in mid 2021 my husband and I sold our 19 foot Caribbean Baron and this is what we bought a Haynes Hunter 24 foot. Now it did have an inboard and we put an outboard onto it but that's a whole nother story. But first of all, I want to take you guys on its first fishing trip. So sit back, relax, and watch the episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm calling pearly. It's not chicken, this is a bucket mouthing. Is this dinner? Yeah. It definitely wouldn't want any higher gun on the bed, so. oh, I can't even see colour yet. Oh, there's some. I've got two fish on As you can see, I was still getting used to the height of the sides, and that grab rail on top of the gunnel there was really in the way, especially when I was jigging. There's always a few personal modifications you can do to a boat when you get it, but you always have to take it out first to see how she performs. What did you got on a flutter? Uh huh. What the hell is this alarm bell ringing for? She made it to the spot. Maybe? I don't know. Unknown. Now. What size of the sound here for girls, did you say? It's not on there, I can't find it. Oh, really? Oh. Handle coming loose. This is the reel in question in the video. I've had this reel, the Pen Conflict 6000 for probably over five years now. Uh, it's got a beautiful EVA grip there. Um, it's got amazing drag. This is what I catch all my kingies on and like I do all my jigging with. Uh, it has been a very amazing reel. I love it. Um, but unfortunately, 
in the video you can see that I'm like cranking the handle going what's going on so pretty sure inside the cogs or the splines something's given way and they've just snapped but five years of jigging and giving it torture and I think it's done pretty well so I'm going to open it up and see how much damage is inside possibly might be able to replace something but we'll see this is meant to pull apart, which Dennis normally does it, but I can definitely tell you that there is some teeth missing from there. Let me see if I can spin this around so you guys can see. So on the back of this cog here is a bunch of teeth that like, you know, intersect and make the reel go. So I don't know if you can see right in there, there's like probably half a dozen teeth missing. It's very hard to show you on the Osmo because it does not like to focus when I'm pushing it up close. So right in here. I do have a replacement reel that I got for Christmas this year, which is the Pan Battle 3 6000. So beautiful reel, still got that EVA grip, which I really like, nice and smooth and soft. Um, awesome drag, big bail arm, about the same weight as the other one. So perfect for jigging again. Uh, this one I currently have, I think I've got 50 pound on there, which I had 50 pound braid on the last one as well, which I'm pretty happy with. This is paired up with my Okuma Selena 3, which is a very old rod. I don't think you can get these anymore, but I love this guy. This is a P6, it's a 5 foot 7. Uh, 24 to 30 kilo with 150 to 250 gram jigs. So that's what I pair this guy up with right here. Perfect jigging combo for me. I love it. Oh no! My jigging reel! I don't know what I'm getting for Christmas, Dennis. After Christmas? Yeah, true. Oh, I can't believe that. So lucky I didn't catch a fish on that. Devastated. I want to get back to bait fishing. <laughs> what do you mean back to? You never bait fished in the first place. This is true. Now, normally we like to catch and release most of our fish, but we were coming up to Christmas and we had a lot of people to feed, and I hadn't had fish in a very long time, so we decided to keep a few fish. And it had been a long time since I had actually caught anything, so it's always good to check your regulations of what size limits and how many you're allowed to keep. That's a shame. I got to something. Oh, look at the stuff on the sand, though, that's good. Oh, yeah, I'm just putting my line in. Why? Why are you putting your don't line take in? I my bait because I had a couple little tags and then. Small. Some good sound though. I don't like that. Yeah. Not to keep Jeez, it's the same colour as it. <laughs> Not oh, what I was after. How much wine did I have? It's not pretty. Yeah. I still got both my baits. Unclickable. Whiting. Yeah. That's a Christmas whiting. Christmas whiting. <laughs> I like that. It's on your side. Really? There it is. Big net, long drips. I don't know yet. It's cool, though. Oh, 
Catch them on the lighter rigs. They don't go so hard and you bring them in easier, eh? Yeah. Sorry, that's still out, that line, babe. Right. This is a snapper. Get this down and then I'll um, get that one in. Yep. Some good sound on the sounder. Are on the seat. Snapper, juvenile, still got spots, and he's going back. Very pretty. Does it match my outfit? <laughs> Let him go. 
See ya, buddy. He disappeared quick. Yeah. I'm out of here. All right. <laughs> Snapper or wrong. No time for talking, more bait. <laughs> What? Fish. Oh. Get big nibbles. Get the nibs. Oh, look at the sound of Ah, what a big fish. All this effort to bring this small thing up. <laughs> you lost your big fish. Somehow. Yeah, it's too much hurt. This thing is almost three. Yeah. Get back down. I get a chance. Not a chance to measure that fish. Just a small guy. Might a small guy as well. Pigeon pair? Oh, yours is bigger. Before we drop back down and measure this fish, check this dude. Spot and I'll throw a light in it. Go, Dennis! Woohoo! Is that the live on? Yep. What? So head shakes like a snapper. Woo! Big snappy! You might need a net though. Okay, <laughs> don't put that out, bro. Go and get the net! Oh, my line's there. Oh. Ooh, big snapper! She jumped out of the motor. Is it a Oh, man! Come on as well! <laughs> you must have just been sitting on this. I think I might need to move around your line a little bit too. No. Oh my god, it's a small day. Go too hard. You're off the bottom now. Just try to turn him. Just be gentle now. You're off the bottom. Yeah. Come up. I think I don't have anything anymore. I'm just being around you. Oh. What? Cut me off. No way. Something. I'm nowhere near you. Don't know, but it just popped off. <laughs> Yeah. 
they reunite. It doesn't matter if the show sold out. Get the whole shop or not. Aren't you seeing? What happened, Dennis? Same thing that happened to yours. You just, you just shook it up and shook it out. What's stuff. The farms are huge, too. Ow! Look at them. They're pretty fucking good. There's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, but once they're in, that's sharp. That's sticky, that one. This one's not super sharp, but once they're in, they should be in. That's two now. Stick another livey on. I need more bait. No! 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 That's a snapper! Oh. He's off the bottom now. <sighs> this is nice. <laughs> this will be dinner. As long as he doesn't pop off like all the other ones. Mm. It's kind of um, giving up a little bit though. I've had it pretty. I guess so. I'm going to brief me, so it's a bit hard in the beginning. I see him on the sound, but yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Come on! <coughs> My shoulders hurt. Look <laughs> at the arches and the sound of that. Yeah. My rod go off in a second. Please don't. I should might be alright. I think it's alright. I think it's alright. I think the bikini did the trick. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's a good snapper, Dennis. Wow. It's two Ooh. fish. It's two oh. fish. Is that? It's two fish. It's um. An amber jack. Amber jack. And, and a, a trag dude. No, no, I think that's one of those. Oh, those it is things. too. <laughs> Fisherman's basket! <laughs> what? That's what's been railing us. That's cool! Amberjacks. Little ambers. Alright, if I put that there, we can kind of see. Sick! I'm going to whip Ripper in him. That's still hooked up. Is that all? Oh, these hooks are insane, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, how do they come off? I don't know. Okay, mate, settle down, Ollie. Really. Get you off. Let me grab That's it. That's that one. <laughs> Sick. So, um, jump on the side, babe. <laughs> been railing us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. These last two fish that got off must have been one of these guys, I reckon. Maybe a kingy. But yeah, cool. Very, very happy. This is too small though. We have to throw this back. Is he? Yeah. I think they have to be subbing. My hand was too small. 60. Oh, Where's the um, little... 60. 60. Show us the map. What? A little behind us. It's definitely 60. Amberjack needs to be 50. 50? Yeah, I told you they, mean, ah. they don't have to be very big. Sweet. Nice little slab for the barbecue then. What do you reckon, guys? We keep this one? Can't spend all this fuel and not take something home, so I'm He's guessing home. this one's coming home because everything else keeps getting off. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put this in the live tank and show you the other fish. Look at me, one thong. <laughs> this is 
is my other little fish that I got. He is like a lavender snapper, I think they call him. What else was on there? Uh, rosy, rosy job. Rosy job fish. We've had these before and the flesh is like this sort of lavender blue color. It's so pretty. This guy's a bit small, I reckon. Yeah, check him on there. I think that'd be I'm not cool. sure how big that would be. Yeah, they're gonna be, they're gonna be 38. Yeah, he's like. Yeah, he's the same size as the last one, was just on 38. Same size as the last guy. He's 38 as well, which is legal, but if I can get him to go back, his swim bladder's in his throat though, so I'm not quite sure if he's gonna go back. Give it a go. Give it a go. Give it a go. Well, I'm on. I'm on. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm on. Oh, it's <laughs> placing that over there. Oh, yes. Get him off the bottom. Okay, he's off the bottom. Who's the live going to go, Dennis? Are you prepared? I'm looking at it. It's <laughs> dancing. As soon as you look away, it's going to go. It's dancing. Probably just the live. Oh, he's on. Don't rip it out of its oh, mouth. I'm on the bait. Rod. Oh. If the livey goes off now, if the livey goes off, we're screwed. It'll be the first time ever we got three rods hooked up. <laughs> wow, I can't believe the fish have come on yeah. in day. Yeah, low tides at one o'clock. I mean, we are at the 50s, so I don't know how much that, you know, influences oh, out here. Get this guy up. What a not a bad spot considering we left every single mark at home. Yes. Dennis Dan Oopsie. I put new sounders on. Yes, he put new sounders on. Didn't put the marks and in. And he forgot to put the marks into them, so well, that's a nice size snapper. It's probably just legal, but it's nice. Uh, I might use the net. Mine just burped. Uh, is it a snapper? Yep. Snappy snaps. Pretty good, good. Do you need the, the net? This is a bigger one. Oh, it's oh, not far off yours. Pigeon pair, man. It's not far off yours. I didn't see how good your one was. Oh, yeah. 42er. What? Oh, 40. Yeah, 41 and a half. Yeah. Oh, come on. Got it. Got a while let go of my one. <laughs> I need a live you got to eat. <laughs> Snappy snaps. Those might be bigger. I don't know. Please don't snap off. Definitely bigger. Really? Oh uh, no, just. Yeah, just. He's a little bit girthier, I reckon, yeah. too. Maybe he's just got bad trauma. Lovely! Lovely Christmas, lunches, dinners. This is what we need. I was just saying to Dennis that I really felt like fish tacos, so gonna be snapper fish tacos for sure. Very nice. We can only keep four. Um, over the legal mark and one over 70 I think unless that includes the four which I will double check but we haven't got any 70s yet anyway so a couple of these will be perfect awesome disappointed or anything here we go oh am I gonna hook up <laughs> Had a little nibble. Whoop, 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 take it. Take it, son, take it. I've got a Pat rig on with two baits and a bell sinker at the bottom. So they're having a good nibble there. And I have a fish. I have a fish. A baby. Doesn't, it doesn't feel very big, but I've definitely got a fish. 
I am using circle hooks. So basically once you feel them bite and if they start running, they will hook themselves. But if you do feel them bite and slowly, gently lift up, you most probably hook them, which is what I just did. So feels like a little guy, which is pretty annoying because we are in 80 meters of water. So I now have my arm workout for the day. But we are catching some fish, which is really nice. This is the first legitimate fishing trip that we've done in the boat. So I'm very happy that fish, the boat actually catches fish. <laughs> And it's glassed out out here. We're at the 50s. And the weather was meant to get a little bit windy, but it's kind of stayed pretty good. So oh, very so happy with that. Jumping. That's the same fish jump in the background. Wow. Like meter out of the water. Here we go, little guy. Oh, wow. Oh. No? Oh, another jumpfish. Oh, seven. Oh, no. what is that? That's a big like. Um, yeah. Yakko. It's a Holy moly, that's massive. That's the biggest yakko I've ever seen in my life. Bring it in, bring it in. Wow, it's like a trevally type thing. Yeah, well, yakkos are trevally. Are they? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Oh. Israel slippery. It's got watch those the razors books. on the back. Yeah, watch the books. Yeah. Put this down. That's cool, Dennis. Here you go. I've never seen one of them before. It's basically a large yakka. <laughs> that's cool. Man, that's a marlin bait and a half. Oh my god, that's perfect. He's so cool. What a pretty fish. Oh. Wow, we're gonna slide him up. Oh, I wanna like slide him as this. a slide him up. That is really cool. That's the biggest yakka I've ever seen. <laughs> that's, that's sick. Actually the biggest yakka I've ever Good seen. stuff, babe. We're gonna put him back. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna chuck this guy over. Thanks for your push, Dennis. Oh, the Marlin boys are going, why did you throw that back? <laughs> because I think on that note, I think it's time to go home. We do have an esky full of fish, which is amazing and fantastic for us because we don't often catch that many fish. <laughs> um, I've still got a bait out, I'm just waiting for a bite, but the bite has gone a little bit slow. So I think it's time to head back before it gets too windy. And yeah, had a very fun day and very much enjoyed the boat. It's fantastic to fish off, lots of room, um, very happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, watching my rod bend there. <laughs> and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching guys, see you later. So I just want to thank you guys once again for watching my videos. I know the last couple of years has been hard for everyone, including ourselves. But with our new boat and a lot more time on our hands, we endeavour to make more videos for you guys and get out and see more of Australia. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one.